it barely survives. So that's a little bit of Chrono Boost that Dopa will be able to use. But honestly, at this point, the game was still in anybody's bag. I had a huge advantage, but Dopa is showing that that Void Ray Tech Switch, one of the deadliest things. So if you guys are a Protoss player and you guys get caught with that almighty combination of Roach Broodlord, which is very difficult for Protoss to deal with, just make the tech switch to mass void ray. Build three or four stargates. Make a bunch of void rays. And uh, it's actually very, very difficult for Zerg to deal with. And if the Zerg does happen to go for mutas or hydras, then all you have to do is start making a bunch of phoenix. Um, phoenix or even just pure zealots. Zealots can deal with the hydras very easily. And phoenix can deal with the mutas very easily. So void rays are a very, very potent unit especially and even in uh, the mid to late game so they're they're very very powerful now as you guys can see i do have my great wall of where i migrated it over to my final last expansion um it looks like i am going to be able to keep this alive this of course is my last home to mine from and i i know that dopa this is his only base from mining from right now as well so it is one base protoss versus one base zerg you guys can see our tabs are very similar 85 67 for army income very similar as well and um, I realized, you know, I can still do the almighty Baneling drop, which has actually worked quite well the entire game. All I have to do, of course, is um, remake my Baneling's nest, which I actually had one right here. So there we go. There's some Banelings coming out right now. And I knew that Dopo was actually getting this side expansion. So I knew that I had to take out that side expo. I couldn't allow it to go up. But Dopa with those Void Rays still so powerful, still so deadly. And I knew that my time was quickly running out. The huge advantage I had was quickly falling apart. And so I knew if I could do some damage with this Bailing Drop, maybe I could keep myself in this game and, of course, try to win it. One victory for the Zerg. There goes the Bailings once again. Switching over to Dopa's play player cam. I think for the third time today, he has been dropped on that expansion. He has lost a lot of probes. And of course, um, the Void Ray actually coming in here, the, the Overlord actually died. So these, these Banelings are pretty much um, open to dying. And this is when I was, <laughs> I said, Void Rays need a nerd. Void Rays need a nerd. I was actually, at, the, at this point, I was so upset with these Void Rays. I was like, oh my God, how can I be losing this game? Because I had such a huge advantage, but the Void Ray tech switch was really making a big difference and was keeping Dopa in the game. Um, and Waffles, by the way, guys, is actually uh, one of the spectators in the in the game. He's actually uh, has referee mode, so he is able to talk to all people. But uh, yeah, as you guys can see at this point, I, I still have an advantage. Um, and of course, I, if I can get up this expansion right here, it will be two base versus two base. And so I'm not completely out of the game. In fact, I would still, I, I would say Dopa is not completely out of the game. It's still in my favor, but it, any player can take this down right now. As you guys can see, it is 40 minutes in. But this game is becoming quite epic as both of our armies have been pretty much diminished to nothing. Um, our massive armies. And now we're just we're just living off of fumes. And I, I mean, I've got a burrowed roach here. There's um, the remnants of the Protoss homeworld over here. All the gas has been mined out. And really, there's only a, a few expansion nodes left to mine from. So this is obviously the super, super late game, Zerg versus Protoss. Things are getting quite interesting. And, you know, if you're in this situation and you're a Protoss player, I would actually say that you have a quite, power, a, quite a powerful edge. Because at this stage, a lot of times Protoss will have a ton of extra gas. And that gas can be used for Archons or Templars. Uh, obviously, Templars and Archons don't really require that much gas. And uh, Templars having that recyclable energy, um, which can be used for constant size storm, it can be a very difficult thing for Zerg to deal with. Now, if you're Zerg in this situation, what you need to do is try to find some way to regain the economic edge. And that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get my bases up and running again. It looks like I have two. I did split up my wall of spore. Uh, trying to get spore crawlers at every single base to deal with these void rays. So uh, the void rays are have been bec have become ineffective when it comes to dealing with my bases. But if you're in this kind of situation, really, uh, you've got to you've got to you got to get a macro edge if you're going to try to get back into this game. Obviously, um, at this point, I still have a small advantage, but um, really, it's it's such a ragtag game, such a, a scattered game right now. 
that it really, if you're in this kind of situation, it can be very difficult to play. So, I was thinking, you know, I've got to hit this expansion. I can't allow the Protoss player to keep this second expo up because it's two base versus two base, and I will eventually lose the game. So here goes my Mutas, using my Mutalist, trying to keep them spread over the Archons. You actually want to treat Archons very similarly to how you treat the Thor, because Archons do splash damage against air. Now, unfortunately, the Void Rays once again victorious, and it looks like all my Mutas get taken out. Um, and there's even a DT down there slashing my roaches away. So it looks like Dopa will be able to keep this expansion alive. And that was a huge misstep for me. Um, losing my entire army, trading it. I really wasn't able to kill all the Void Rays. And I wasn't able to kill any probes, nor was I able to kill the Nexus. So at this point, it's really anybody's game to take. Dopa, obviously, with the map, with the map control with those Void Rays, and uh, if we just go ahead and take a look, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these tabs. We can see APM, both of us, very, very high. And uh, if you guys are curious, um, this game, yes, it is now 45 minutes in. If you guys are curious as to the rankings of the players, it is, Dopa is actually a 25, 2600 Protoss, and I'm currently a 2500 Zerg. So this is a fairly high level, diamond level game. You guys might not believe it because it's come to this stage where it's such a, a strange game of StarCraft. Most games never get to this point. But uh, it looks like I am gonna be able to use my Baneling Drops once again. This is what you need to do as well if you're Zerg. Uh, remember these Banelings were the ones that burrowed over here. I brought an Overlord to ferry some more Banelings over and I am gonna be able to drop once again over the economy line. Is Dopa paying attention to his minerals? Yes, he pulls his probes away at the very last Baneling, keeping some of them alive. And at the same time, he's actually killing a bunch of my structures in my main. But if we go to all view, I do have two more Banelings ready to load up and of course i can drop once again on the probe line and really it's it's kind of twofold you can either take out an expansion if you're zerg you can try to play the economic game and get another expo to win the game in the long run or you can try to harass these probes and at this point i was thinking you know let's keep harassing these probes it's working so far i drop once again and of course that's keeping that's giving me that harvester edge 40 harvesters over 20 so I am pretty much double but I still don't have a method to dealing with these void rays and they are going to be able to take out my hive and uh, <laughs> waffles is now saying I wonder how many views this game is gonna get I actually am wondering as well so if you guys are watching this game um, yeah pump up the views let your friends know and I was uh, see as you, as you guys can see I wasn't actually planning to cast this game but this game has become so epic at this point um, and uh, so I've decided, you know what, let's go ahead and bring it out on YouTube. But anyways, as you guys can see, I finally decided, let's go ahead and try switching to Hydralisks. I almost never really go Hydras. It's, it's quite rare that I do. But I eventually decided, you know what, let's get some Hydras out. And that's going to be a good way for me to deal with both the Archons and with the Void Rays. But I will have to be careful about the Psy Storm. So it looks like... Um, it looks like there's still one more base left that has been mined. This is Dopa's gold expansion. So this is actually the base that I needed to get the entire game. Um, if I could secure this gold, anybody really who gets this gold expo, if you're in this kind of situation, is pretty much going to take this game away because this gold is gonna, it's still pretty much unmined. It's gonna provide a ton of resources for whoever, whoever is able to claim it. So if you're in this kind of late game situation and everything's mined out um, and there's only one thing left, maneuver your forces, get everything over there. Uh, either you get the expansion or you die trying to, f or you you die trying keeping the opponent from getting that expansion. So it's one way or the other. You cannot allow the opponent to get it or you're gonna get it yourself. And so it looks like we are going to engage for the right over that gold expansion. Thankfully, I do have a good amount of hydras this time. And it looks like Dopa doesn't really have the minerals to... Uh, he doesn't have the the, uh, the Templars or the Zealots to deal with Hydras. Keep in mind, Zealots with Charge are very, very effective against Hydralisks. Um, so are Templars with Psystorm. So that's the one thing you have to be careful about. Especially since the, these Hydralisks are off of creep. They are so slow. So they're very, they're very susceptible to that. And <laughs> I was saying I actually forgot about the gold expansion. So here we go. Stake the flag into the ground. This expansion is now the property of the Zerg. 
And if I can hold on to this, if I can get this expansion up and running, then I should have a pretty good edge in this game. Um, I should be able to close it out with what, what I should have done before these Void Rays came out. But hopefully I'll be able to close this game out. It looks like I'm going to try to push forward here. And uh, I, was, I was thinking, you know, I've got a pretty good army advantage. I think I should be able to crush this expansion with minimal losses. And uh, at the same time, this is going to, of course, going back to the basic roots, attacking while expanding so your opponent cannot attack your expansion. It looks like one very good size storm going over to the slow hydras and doing a lot of damage. Another storm, not the best right there, missing a lot of the hydras. And it looks like I am going to be able to take out this expansion. So, um, yeah, this just goes back to what I was saying before. Whenever you go for an expansion, you want to attack. Um, it, it does two things. It allows you to be aggressive and it allows you to secure that expo. So, <laughs> after 50 minutes of brawling it out with Dopa, I was finally saying, you know, Hydras aren't that bad. I came to the realization Hydras are actually pretty darn good as long as you uh, use them effectively, keep them on creep, and, uh, you know, in this kind of a situation, in the very, very late game when the, when the Protoss doesn't have minerals for a ton of Zealots and only has a few Templars here or there, you can dodge the storm somewhat easily. So, um, I immediately, of course, once you get this expansion up, just transfer all your workers that are not mining minerals and bring them over to, this, to these drones. If you can get the drones up and running, then you should be able to theoretically win this game. And as you guys can see, Dope is pretty much out of minerals and gas. So he really, all he's got left are these cannons. And he's got a Templar. That's all he can afford. He has no more minerals and gas, a Templar, two Void Rays, and his cannons. So I, I guess at this point, Dopo is thinking, you know, if I can get a lucky storm off and kill off all these drones, um, then I can I can force a draw kind of situation. And you know, you gotta you gotta give uh, you gotta give some some compliments to to him because you know you never give up in StarCraft. That's the number one rule. Even when you think things are bleak, you can draw it out. You can pull it out to a very late situation, and hopefully, maybe you can still win the game. And that was actually proven why by the time when I was way ahead, I had 200 supply, over 100, and then Dopa never GG'd out. He actually switched over to mass void rays and was able to make the game this close, 53 minutes into the game. So um, obviously, if anything is possible in StarCraft, he's still in it, one of the most resilient players I know. He's actually bringing in Zealots here while my Hydras were attacking, and uh, he's actually taking out a couple of my drones. So. Nice play here from Dopa, but I think in the long run, I should have this game in the bag. More Hydras are coming here. This fresh income of gold minerals is so good. <laughs> right now, this is one of the, this is such a relief for me to grab because I knew if I could hold on to this, you know, I got my spores here. I migrated my great wall of spore, got um, all my units. I should be able to win this game. Here we go, taking out the last couple units that Dopa has. And I think this is, yeah, there we go. GG calls Dopa. I was wondering when he was going to say that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this game. This was one of the most funnest games I've played in quite some time. Every single expansion was mined out. Um, this one, the Dopa's Gold, was near mined out. But every single expansion was claimed and mined out. It was a 50-minute game between me and my good friend Donald, a.k.a. Dopa. And this is the Merry Christmas special. I hope you guys all had a great Christmas and the holidays holiday seasons are of course are not over yet there's still New Year's 2011 coming up so continue to stay tuned guys and uh, I just want to say thank you guys all so much for all your combined support let your friends know about my channel and um, I'm going to continue bringing these videos out HD signing out for now but we'll be back next time with another HD broadcast